Given f prime of x equals 1 over the square root of x and f of 4 equals 2, find f of x. Okay, so start by rewriting the problem. f of f prime of x equals x to the negative 1 half. The 1 half means square root and the negative means it's on the bottom. So we'll do the power rule. So one, negative 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half. Then we'll divide by 1 half. So dividing by 1 half is the same as multiplying by 2. Then we'll add a constant c. And we know that f of 4, ah, 4, okay, we can do that, equals 2. So it'll be 2 times 4 square rooted equals 2. Right here. Oh, there we go. So 2 oh, plus c. There we go. And more of a c. There we go. Excellent. 2 times, in this case 2, 4 squared is 2, plus c equals 2. Many 2s. One might even say that there are too many. Um, okay, okay. Um, c equals negative 2. So then f of x equals 2x to the 1 half minus 2, which is the same as 2 square root of x minus 2, which is even possible answer, which is nice. Okay. Oh, that worked out pretty well. Okay, so backtrack, overview. So we're given a derivative, and it kind of follows the power rule. So we take the integral of the derivative. It gives us f of x and a constant c. We then plug in our initial condition to find out what that constant c is, and that gives us our answer for f of x. Eh, not too bad. But this is the set of problem you might see. This might be a little bit easy for the AP exam, but it's definitely the sort of thing you could see, and it's the sort of thing that can be solved within a couple minutes. So, not too bad. Very reasonable problem.